SMBF basically means that the number of starts and stops that has been done on the soft start has exceeded as based upon the programming. Um, this can happen for a number of reasons. Now there's really two parameters that you need to really confirm how they're programmed. And to get there, just to let you see that, it's under the ADJ menu. So scroll down to ADJ. Now if you cannot see that, this is a good example to see it. You first want to go under configuration. Go down to LAC. Enter. And you turn it on. This basically hides the number of menus to be seen. It's access level parameter. So now that you've done that, when you escape back to configuration again, now you can scroll down and you will find all kinds of other menus including ADJ. So once you see that, enter. So right off the bat, here's your first parameter. It's SNB, which is the number of starts you can do. And um, when you enter on that, you have options between off and one through 10. So let's say this is programmed as 3 for now, and uh, in a later example I'm going to show you why that's the case and we can talk about that in more detail. But anyway, SMB is right now 3, that's the number of starts. The next parameter is SLG, okay? This is the time uh, start period, so this is how many times it will allow to start and stop, which right now is 3, per the time period, and this is in minutes, so right now it's just 30 minutes. So about three and half an hour. So you can adjust this as well. You can enter and scroll up and down. Uh, the max is 60 minutes, by the way, as low as it can go, or I guess technically highest value can go. And the lowest is one minute. So those together, uh, the S and B and the SLG, combine to give you a basis for why that fault is appearing or not. So if you're doing, let's say, four or five starts per hour, and if SLG is programmed as, let's say, just do 30, just to make it easy, and if your SNB is programmed as two, well, it's gonna fault because you're only allowing technically four per hour, since two is the number of starts and 30 is the time frame, so four per hour. So that's basically too little amount. And of course, once it faults, you'll notice that this is something that's not hard to clear. And the reason is because um, even if you power it down or power it back on again, off and on, it will not go away because it wants to make sure that the soft start is not being cheated into trying to run that motor again because if you try to run a lot of times, it will start having some overloading problems, overheating problems, and might even damage your motor or your soft start in the long run. So that's the reason to buy. But let's say this, is, this fault happened last, you know, yesterday. And you even powered it down the entire day, overnight, and you came back the next morning and it still faulted out. Well, there's a way you can bypass this fault. And this is basically where you go into SNB parameter and turn it off. Once you do that, you can power it down, let it go blank, and power it back up. And you'll notice that SNBF parameter, or fault I should say, will no longer appear.